Hey, welcome back, folks, uh, to another edition of Show and Tell What the Hell. And um, today we're going to be talking about uh, Horde Zombie He Man, the uh, PowerCon exclusive. It's a little late in the game for this, but uh, finally got it in from um, Big Bat Toy Store. Um, I'm, this is, I'm opening up a, a new fresh uh, thing of blades so I can open this package up. Um, and I wanted to uh, talk about this briefly. Um, and if, let's look at the package here first, uh, adult collector, and you can see the nice slimy package. I am going to open this, even though this is, uh, essentially, I don't know, I don't know what they're charging for. It's like about a hundred bucks, maybe 80 to a hundred. It's not really a, um, cheap toy, but it's an exclusive and that's the norm that we've come to expect with, um, our exclusives that we get at Paracon, uh, and I would go through the same thing at BotCon, and, um, this one sold out pretty quickly, but I think there was some availability, now, I'm not gonna go off and say, hey, you know, unfortunately, you can't get it, no, there's, if you really want it, you can get it, and maybe this video might, um, make you decide To or not to. Sometimes I like to open it really nice and uh, do it something like this with my open it right on the side of the package. That way I could put it back in if I want it to or put it back in the box, hold on to the box in case I decide I want to sell it. Um, more or less, I have a. Oh, see, I don't know why they perforated this uh, at the bottom when they really. They could have just kept it sealed. I would have preferred that they had like a box, like the way they did with uh, with the new uh, Thundercat toys coming out for Super 7. Uh, but this is not Super 7. This is, in fact, Mattel, which gave started giving us a clue as to what was the direction. Now, these are going to be the last... These are the last uh, Masters of the Universe classics, um, possibly ever. Uh, but who knows? We may get some in the future. Um, since Mattel decided to put these out and, uh, now Super 7, of course, they're going to have their last waves, uh, shipping and, um, but look at this. Now you get to see what comes inside. You get the two He-Man heads, um, and you get a translucent axe and, uh, shield and sword and, uh, let's pull him out. I do it so so violently. So this is uh, now <clears throat> he has a actually someone had commented that he does have a real solid feel, but I really like the translucent. I'm a real big sucker for translucent plastic. I actually made a custom of this, but I uh, decided when this was coming out just to kind of use reuse those parts for other projects. I had used an actually more monstrous head. So this is based off the mini comic where He Man gets in the slime pit. And, um, and, uh, it, and the slime transforms into a, a horde slime creature. Um, now I would have liked a, um, alternate like horde emblem thing going on here, but, uh, Hey man, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, we're going to make do with this. We're going to see what we can, uh, now this is cool. Um, of course, like the first he man that came out with a classic slime, he does have the little, um, Thing where you could put a sword there sheath it uh and uh it works similarly with the x i like that it's really translucent this is a really nice translucent now when it comes to translucent things i get really careful because the plastic tends to be brittle but someone mentioned that it was a little bit more solid the legs do definitely see, feel more solid but these are the parts that i worry about right there uh, so i wouldn't be surprised if these guys start cracking in the future i'm not going to be playing with him too much he's going to be mostly for display i don't really play with my toys that much anyway i get kind of i'm noticing right here um there the, the plastic looks a little thinner and more brittle there so i'm going to be very careful when i pop this head out and show you the other heads now that was a nice little um removal that the translucent in the head is a little yeah it's nice so uh First of all, I'm going to show you one of the other heads that, uh, this is the original Masters of the Universe Classics He-Man head sculpt, um, that came with a, the line 10 years ago, rest in peace, classics. Head is not easy to really pop in, uh, I don't want to break it even more, 
but you get the idea. He's got a long neck. Let's see if I could try to. Yeah, that's there's some issues with getting the head in there. Um, I don't know if it's due to the ball joint, but that could be remedied if you put it in uh, some hot water, perhaps. And that's the part that I'm worried about right there. That is the part I don't want that shipping off. Um, so let's get the other head on there. This is this is my preferred head. This is based off the original He-Man. This came later on in, um, in the He-Man Classics. Masters Universe Classics lifespan. This mold came out to represent the original He-Man head. So they included it with this. Uh, hopefully I can get it on without cracking it. And there, yeah, this one popped right in. Um, and this is going to be my preferred look for this character. For the Slime Pit He-Man. Well, it's Horde Zombie He-Man. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm actually really happy. I've been wanting this figure for quite some while. Not just this particular figure, but the concept of having the Horde He-Man. I always thought when I was a kid, it'd be nice to get some sort of version of this. So let me uh, do something pretty... Uh, let me do something here. Hold on, give me one second. And uh, busting out a Horde Trooper just to put next to him. Just to... Uh, I want to see if this is going to work out. Uh, give him one of the he-man heads there and you could turn slime pit he-man into an official horde trooper there uh pretty cool you can do that if you want to um or you can um you want oh sorry everything's falling down over here very balancing this thing here just so i can uh, so I can get a good angle because someone was giving me shit about having a bad angle. So he said, because you had a bad angle, I'm going to give you a thumbs down. Uh, this head is actually having problems sticking. It's the actual mold of the ball of the head where it's having a hard time. But if you want to make He-Man into a, like a horror general of sorts, Slime Pit He-Man. Let's say he never went back into the He-Man lifestyle and decided just to become a horde member full-time as a slight horde zombie yeah these make for excellent little um you know pieces to these little add-ons if you have extra horde you can get some horde members with a he-man head so pretty cool um i really enjoy that oh save these heads for later i think i'll probably keep this one on here for a while have it on display somewhere i do got maybe about three or four hordesmen. Um, so yeah, there's your uh, He-Man. I'll show him off lastly with a few other um, characters just to give you context. I wish I had a slime pit here to show you what the slime pit looks like with him, but I don't. So, too bad. Here's him with his buddy Hordak. Um, uh, here's him with a weaponless anti-Eternia He-Man. Let's give you another He-Man variant. Um, and I'm going to show him off with some other, uh, colorful characters from the, the Masters line. There's the Spirit of Grayskull. Gets this Light Hope here, who's another translucent character who hasn't cracked yet either, so I'm happy about that. And the Spirit of Hordak. So yeah, all make for very good. Uh, now, who's the other one? Is it Icer? Another translucent character? Oh! Yeah, sorry about that. And just going to set them up right here with them, all of them. So that, yeah, you know, these these were some of the more colorful, uh, bright they all look kind of like these deities. I like that. They all look great together. Uh, very happy to have gotten these. And uh, very sad to see the Masters uh, Classics line go. But we're getting a new cl uh, line from Mattel. Really happy that Super 7 did do what they did. Because otherwise we will not be seeing uh, a lot of what Super 7 is going to be doing with the future. Including the Ninja Turtles and Thundercats. So yeah, uh, there you have it. Um... You know, so uh, if you'd like to see more of these reviews, I do got, I'm going to go over uh, the other pack that I got. I did get um, the Horde Snake Troopers 
as well that other super seven uh super seven the other uh, uh power con pack but um let me know what you fellas think about this if you guys are collectors of the masters universe line uh hope maybe you know if you haven't picked them up yet um perhaps you um you know may think about picking them up now who knows or maybe you said hey you know what that's there's nothing to this figure i don't really need it um i personally love having extra horde members uh i like growing my in fact i i, I make custom horde characters and uh, just want to grow my horde army. There's something about a unified gray uh, look of an evil force that um, gets me uh, all giddy. You know, whether it's uh, foot soldiers or ninjas or stormtroopers. I really like that for some reason. I think it's pretty evil and cool. Anyway, so um, yeah, there you go. Horde zombie he-man and thanks for watching guys we'll see you later on